Welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... The prince has arrived at this desert fortress in order to hang out with his brother, Prince Malik. Who I'm guessing is an older brother, due to the fact that, uh, he clearly looks up to the guy. Which, uh... Let's be honest, it's not really farewell for Malik's fate, given that we uh, heavily suggested at the end of uh, the Two Thrones that the prince becomes the king of Persia. But that's in the future, and right now we need to figure out who these assholes are, and uh, why they want this fucking fortress so badly. Oh, there are bricks over there. Sorry, Prince, I was doing an intro. That works. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Could have picked a smaller door, I'm just saying. Oh Christ. Well, at least he only went straight up. If I could run along the wall to get to that one. Which somehow seemed safer than just jumping, in my mind. Which I now realize is an instinct that makes no sense. Nice to be back in this setting. I really enjoyed the uh, original Sands of Time trilogy. So it's good to have an excuse to come back. I think that's the quick save thing. Well, when we, repair, when we repair the place, maybe we can, you know, get it laid out in a different way, so that it doesn't feel like getting from point A to point B is a goddamn puzzle. Well, that was uh, really, really unfortunate, but uh, I survived pressing the wrong button, so that's nice. Maybe save the brotherly Wait banter for now. later. Awesome, it is time. That's that's just perfect. Right. All they need to do is make a hole. Tear down the whole giant gate. That's what you got a haystack. Go on, I'll meet you. No. 
The vault! Head to Solomon's vault! I mean, that guy tried to kill me, but, you know. Solomon's vault? What's he playing? Oh, right. That was close. Uh... Okay, I guess we're going this way. Ah, bricks, okay. That's gonna be kind of a problem, because they blend into the walls, you know, really, really well, being, you know, building materials. I'll Hang catch on. up with you. Yes. I'll just take the long way. It's much faster. You know what? I, uh, forget, like, restructuring the building so that you don't have to climb all over the damn place in order to get from point A to point B. Maybe we could just have a new policy of not locking every single door all the time. Be nice to be able to take the stairs for once. Oh, look. Dramatic irony. Oh, so that's what it's like to feel normal. Oh. Okay. That's not ominous at all. Can grab that in some way. I don't remember the kick being a thing, but it has been four years since I played one of these games. Piss. Oh, come on. Alright, I can give it a shot. Okay. Clearly dropping down here was not the solution, so I don't get to take the stairs after all. Okay. Oh! Cool. Again, did not see the bricks. It's gonna think these guys have glass jaws. There's not a button for that, incidentally. He just puts the sword away after a couple seconds of not using it. That was a sneeze. My apologies. Okay. Oh, button. I do miss the backflip. Oh, boy. Oh. oh, no, I don't want that. on this guy. Nice boots. Sounds like I'm closer to the fighting. Not necessarily a good thing. Oh, I see. No. I feel like having the timer going until the very moment it touches the ground is kind of disingenuous, but okay. Uh. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to check. No barrels or anything for me to get my health back. Fuck you, wall. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> I think they bought it. The outfit looks right out of uh, Warrior Within. Just, I think, cleaner and in better condition. I seem to remember the... Uh, Prince's outfit being kind of grimy at the beginning of the game. 
possibly because he had just survived a uh, shipwreck. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily. Did I keep you waiting? I was tired from traveling all day, so I stopped in the baths to relax for a while. Then I had a nice hot meal, and now I'm ready to help you defend your kingdom. I'm going to be generous and assume that that was just in his mind and not the usual talking to himself because his mouth wasn't moving. Well, that didn't work. Oh, columns. Yes, duh. I guess I do remember this being a thing. That you could aim yourself. Yeah, that's something that took me a while to get used to back in the, uh, the other games. You just press A. You do not have to lean the stick in the direction you want to go. This door has actually been like this for a while. I've been saying they should change it since I was a kid. Fall back! To the gates! Kalashana Bukashi! Those gates lead to the treasure vaults. I'll need to find a way down there. No, they don't care. He's retreating to the vault. He planned to release King Solomon's army. He'd be mad to rely on a mythical army to stop this invasion. I have to warn him. I wish I could see. I can't move the camera at all. Oh, okay. No explanation for why the columns are not identical, but whatever. That's something you really have to get used to in these games, as I recall. Where everything just feels a little bit too conveniently laid out. But, you know, just go with it. It's a linear video game. You know the drill. when I did that dramatic camera angle. Nah, he's just dead. Oh, seems to be absorbed in through the uh, medallion. Unless I miss my guess, I think that's Farah's medallion from the first game. Uh, I seem to recall they explained at some point that... Or at least a commenter explained at one point. I don't remember. I might not have gotten that from the actual game. That the idea is that the three most important characters in the Sands of Time were protected by magical artifacts they had, and that's why they didn't turn into sand wraiths with the rest of Azad. No? Okay. Uh... Oh, I see. And now? Oh, close one. So the prince had the Dagger of Time, obviously. The Vizier was protected by the staff he was always carrying, and Farah was protected by the medallion she wore. Which is why, uh... Well, you know, spoilers, but towards the end of the game, uh, when she steals the dagger, she leaves the uh, medallion with the prince. So that he doesn't turn into a sand wraith. And as I understand it, that is officially the explanation for uh, how you get the time manipulation powers in Warrior Within, even though you don't have the Dagger of Time. Okay, I take it back. I actually pulled it off fairly easily, actually. Oh. 
Not everybody gets to tell everyone what they've seen. I actually found a mod for this game that makes the prince's face look more like he used to, and also comes with the option of replacing the outfit with the outfits he wore in the other games. I thought about just taking the one that gives him the same outfit but changes his face, but eh, then the cutscenes would make no sense, so uh, fuck it. Here's the game as originally presented. The guy appears to be holding a... Lion in the manner of a house cat, and I approve. That's kind of baller. I know that weapon. That's like a kopesh, isn't it? Let me guess. Can I just not open these giant doors? No. Hmm. I would have gotten turned around. I'm not actually sure which end of the room I'm supposed to be moving towards. Okay, full health. That's what it was. I paused and unpaused. Okay, looking around. It was the other end of the room. There must be another way in. Maybe we could knock. I'm just saying, the people inside are our allies. I mean, they probably won't open it in case I've been captured and I've got, someone's got a knife to my throat, but you know... We didn't even ask. And one, and two, and three, and feel the burn. Mmm. Mmm. That was silly. Uh... It's funny that the controls for which direction to move on the uh, the, uh, the 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 columns comes back to me immediately. Meanwhile, I keep jumping when I mean to dodge in uh, combat. Oh God! Well, that's embarrassing. And me without the dagger of time. There must be another way in. That wasn't actually a game over screen, so we don't know for sure whether or not this game does the thing from the first game. Where uh I could use a tiny bit of health, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Where uh Whenever you die, you hear the prince go, that's not right, let me try that again. Or that's not how that story goes. Presumably because the tale he's telling does not end with him going, and so I fell into the spikes and was gruesomely impaled and died. Actually, sure how the prince managed to keep uh, Farah's medallion at the uh, end of the game, given that the first game ends with him going back in time and undoing all the horrible things that happened. Remembering the visual shorthand, that wall was uh, smooth and worn down from all the people that have run on it, I guess. Oh. Okay. By the time I reached the vaults, I understood why Malik had come here. Me too. He placed his last hope in the army. Oh. His only other option was retreat and defeat. You know what? Let's just, uh... Money... Nice. This is what it feels like to be a dragon. Oh, that's right. Uh, I'm not actually doing this in Steam. 
But it's not the screenshot button. Huh. Well, let's use the recording program then. And there. Yes, I'm playing this in Uplay. I don't actually remember why I have this on Uplay. I do remember uh, a year or two ago, uh, it was on sale in the Steam Christmas sale, and I almost bought it, as, uh, even though I already had it, because I just totally forgot. I don't use Uplay very often. I'm not sure that makes any sense in terms of physics, but I'll allow it. What this mystical army he keeps talking about is. I keep thinking about the movie Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, where there's just this army of robots buried under the earth somewhere waiting for someone to take control and give them a target to destroy. Well, uh, I'm just going to bask among these riches and call it an episode. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. We'll hopefully catch up to Malik and uh, get a better idea of what's going on. Later!